Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance and NFTs built upon Web3 technology. If you find these videos useful, why not come and join us in the Orbital Command Discord server? There's loads of subject matter experts and it's a good laugh too. The link will be down in the description. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Pulsar Finance dashboard on Terra. So I'm on their Twitter page and just going to click through to the website and it looks pretty cool saying that we can track all our assets and take advantage of Pulsar Advanced Analytics. So first of all I'm going to connect my wallet and I can basically just connect a Terra wallet. So I'm going to connect my Terra station and in we go to the analytics website. It's pretty cool. I've got this chart telling me what assets I've got. Also puts a price on my NFTs and then I can just scroll down, see what's in my wallet. This has actually got both Terra and Terra Classic enabled. I'll just turn this off because I've got a lot of tokens with no value on Classic at the moment. So my tokens, what I've got staking, and some yield farming and also my NFTs. So that's pretty cool. But what about if I've got some assets on Cosmos? Let's see if I can add a wallet. Unfortunately not. This is, at the moment this is just tracking any Terra wallet. But the new version of Pulsar is about to drop and they've given me a link to have a look at the new version. So again, I'm going to connect up my wallet, but this time it's not just Terra. There's a whole bunch of Cosmos chains that are now supported. I'm going to start off again with my Terra address. Okay, so I've got my assets from Terra there. I'm just going to turn off Classic again. Nothing against Classic, it's just that I've got so many tokens it just makes the dashboard look a bit messy. Right, so this is my Terra balance, but I'm thinking why not get some Cosmos assets in here? So I'll just copy my Juno address and then connect another wallet. And I think this is quite a cool feature, so I'm going to add Juno. But instead of having to add every single wallet address individually, because my Juno address is linked to tons of other addresses, I can just click the ones I want to add here. So Cosmos, Osmosis, and that shall do for now. Now I don't actually have very much in any of those other wallets, but it's quite nice we can go into these drop downs to get a bit more information about the various tokens. Thought I'd turned off classic, but it looks like it's still there. It's a little bit strange. Maybe refresh the page. Let's just double check. Right, so classic is turned off, so I shouldn't be seeing any classic tokens. Right, that's more like it. But then just looking at my staking, we can see that I've got some Luna staked with Orbital Command, Osmo Orbital Command as well, staking with Dom Kryptonium for my Atom. So that's quite nice. That That's actually an update from the previous version of their dashboard. We used to have to like click in here and it would tell us down here which validator you're with. So I like that we can see that on the, the top level. Also a little bit delegated with the Cosmos Spaces crew. And then it's got all my yield farming positions here, NFTs. So that the price that it puts on my NFTs is basically the floor price and then just multiplies it by the number of NFTs in that particular collection. This is nice, they load up very quickly. It's saying here that Rebel DeFi is worth $279, but to me, he's priceless. And then up the top here, we've got some various options. I can manage wallets and portfolios. So if I go into this section, 
I'm going to create a portfolio for Rebel DeFi. And then I need to add some wallets. So select those ones, submit. Okay, so I've now got this Rebel DeFi portfolio. Now we can see here, it tells me by the color coding which chain these assets are on. I think this could maybe be a little bit clearer, possibly by coloring something a little bit bigger than maybe this whole section even. So all these orange ones are on Terra, purple is Osmosis, orange is Cosmos Hub, and then the green is Juno. It would be nice because if I link up tons of Cosmos wallets, I'm then gonna have loads of different colors in this section here and I think it could get quite confusing. So it might be nice if there was like a, a key or something down here to let me know specifically which chain my assets are on. Or even if I could maybe group my tokens rather than by token value, or sorry, total value, it would be nice if I could maybe group these tokens by chain. Overall though, I think it's a clean dashboard. It makes it really easy to see just how much value I have in my portfolio, um, including NFTs and then excluding NFTs. This for me is the one I'm more interested in right now. And today looks like a good day. I am up over 48%. Keep an eye out on the Pulsar Finance Twitter page for details of their latest dashboard. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And if you've got any questions, comments or criticisms, please leave them down below. Thanks.